You cannot tell me this is not my hair. A blessing in disguise because my lessons open eyes since back in 9 5. I've been repping worldwide. Westside. If you want to learn all about this amazing unit that I have on right now, please stay tuned. And also included in this video, I have some wig hacks and a life changing oh, wig me. tool, y'all. In real life, I am the wig queen. I've been wearing wigs since I was like 14 years old. Sensational dropped a line about last year um, called Cloud Nine Swiss Lace Wig What Lace Hairline Illusion Lace Wig. So this is what it is. And the whole point of it, as you can see with the cue card, and maybe reverse for you, but the whole point of this is for the lace front, the lace frontal to be pre-plucked and to look like a real hairline. Like this is not, this is not her hair. Like this is the wig's hair looking like this. It was meant to look like a real hairline. Um, however, this is a synthetic line. It's synthetic like natural hair that was pressed out for your eighth grade luncheon pictures. Like this is what it looks like from before. So, and just to read what it says for y'all who are very new to this, it is so natural it can't be a wig. Keep them guessing when you wear the What Lace Hairline Illusion Wig, 13 by 6 ear to ear lace with a six inch deep part tie. So for those who don't understand, the 13 inches is 13 inches this way and then by six is this way. So basically the wig is laced from here all the way back to here. It is pre-plucked with a natural density and it's undetectable flawless hairline. It's a perfect hairline with baby hair along the hairline. It's pre-customized and it's a protective style for no leave out necessary. Um, as you can see, it's most definitely yakky and it's super, super thick. Like if the wind was to blow, baby, I'm in the windy city. This is my politician. And what I learned from the first time I won the Well Lace Collection, again, the lace is really light. Let me show you. It's very, very light. And it kind of comes up that way. So it takes a while for us to find it and to make it look like an illusion for sure. So what I end up doing with the Solana wig is I had to make them do the ball cap method. Now, I love the ball cap method, but for me, I really, really like to moisturize my hair underneath. The ball cap method, that ball cap can last on your hair from two to three days. So it's just messy and it, it takes a while, and when it's old, it's old. You will wake up one day and like, okay, I got to do this ball cap off, and you got to do it all over again. So if my ass needs to hurry up and hit the door and go, but I and their mama knows about the wig grip. The wig grip came out a couple years ago, and it was a way to protect your hairline from like the combs in the wings, as well as keep your wig very sturdy. So the original wig grip looked like this, but all around. And for real, your wig will not move. However, for people like me who wore lace part from wigs, this doesn't look that good under lace. So you will find a lot of people putting makeup or their foundation or silicone strips all over the wig grip to make it blend in with their lace parcels, which really didn't work out, which is why I haven't used the wig grip. lace front wigs. As you can see, they added lace at the beginning of the grip. So that can blend in a little bit further and put lace in the middle. So that can blend in with the lace. Now, y'all, I wore this all day yesterday. My wig did not, first of all, it was cold and rainy yesterday. My wig did not move. It did not, nothing. And I didn't have to do anything with the wig like in terms of trying to blend the lace because it's lace laying on top of lace. This lace is very, it's probably the clearest lace I've ever seen. So it blends in right with your skin color. And I'm like, this changed my life. I don't have to do a ball cap. I can just throw the wig on and that's what I want. Oh my God. So right now I'm just adding my Kiss Pro Touch foundation in the color Sun Beige to the lace so it can match my skin and my scalp perfectly.
Two other baby hairs. This is the lace. My part is somewhere over here. Y'all, that looks so freaking. Huh? Mm. <laughs> I don't think y'all are understanding what this just did for the game. I don't have to sit here and do holding spray, cut the wig, let's cut the wig cap off. I don't, and like, I can literally take this wig off every day, put it back on with ease and believing, because I'm seeing, that it's blended. And also what this did for the wood lace collection with this type of lace, this lace is usually way too light. So it was really hard to blend. Even without baby hairs, it's blending like perfectly. Like, so this week comes probably, and I'm 5'2, I'm a really, really short person. And this week comes, I'm on my tippy toes right now, but like right before my chest. So it's not long. To me, it's not long. Wow. So I'm going to put the part, I think I'm going to keep it to the side. And I'm going to blow dry it just to make it lay flatter. So let y'all watch it. You can really see that true number four right now. Oh, Lord. I love this so much. Ah. And if you wanted to, you can put, you know, a little more foundation in here, but. With this line, I don't have to do. Man, I'm just, I'm blown away. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you to everyone who has been supporting me thus far. Now, this video has blessed you. Please comment. I would love to hear about it. And also share it so it can bless somebody else. Now, what I need you to do is click that subscribe button and click that bell so you know when your girl dropping some new heat. Okay and follow on all the social media platforms below. Mwah. Bye!